Okay, let's discuss what we can use for a strategy when we multiply a number by three. So when we multiply by three, we can start out by thinking about the double of a number. And that's what we learned when we learned how to multiply by two. Then when we multiply by three, we just add one more group. So let's see what that looks like. Here I have two times six, two groups of six. Now if I wanted to figure out three times six, I could use what I know about two times six and then just add six more. I'm just adding one more group of six. So now we can see that I have three groups of six. So I knew that I had 12 before, two groups of six made 12 and one more group of six makes 18. Now let's do three times two. So I'm gonna start out by thinking about what I know about two times two. So I know that two groups of two makes four and then I'll just add one more group of two to make six. Let's take a look at what might happen for three times four. So let's start out by making two groups of four or the double of four. So that's eight. And now I just add one more group of four to make 12. Now let's try doing this without the blocks. So three times one, that's probably pretty simple for you, but if we wanted to think of it as the doubles first, we would think of the double of one is two and then add one more group of one to make three. For three times three, we can think the double of three to make six and then one more group of three to make nine. Three times five. I'll start by thinking the double of five makes 10 and one more group of five makes 15. For three times seven, I will think to myself, okay, the double of seven is 14 and then one more group of seven makes 21. For three times eight, the double of eight is 16 and one more group of eight makes 24. For three times nine, I can think the double of nine is 18 and one more group of nine makes 27. And for three times 10, I can think to myself, the double of 10 makes 20 and one more group of 10 makes 30. Now I showed you what this might look like with blocks, but we can also show it using a wreck and wreck, which I'm just going to show you quickly. So suppose that we were trying to work with three times five. We could start out by thinking the double of five is 10, and then I just add one more group of five to make 15. Or I could show, if I'm trying to figure out three times four, I could first of all start with two times four, so there's two groups of four, and that makes eight. And then I just add one more group of four to make 12. And that is one strategy for multiplying by threes.